I raised my daughters on my own. Growing up, um, you know, my parents didn't speak the language, so um, it was, you know, kind of difficult for us to, you know, have like resources for college and know about a lot of things. As I got older, and then I had my own family and my kids, I realized that that was something that that they were going to do. They were going to go to college. She's always been a motivation for me with school and life because I've always, I, when I was younger, I, had, I would struggle with school and I'd cry and I would just feel like it's too hard and just her motivation to keep going and keep trying. I think that's what is extraordinary about her. I knew also that I wanted to continue to continue and just um, keep taking classes. So I went to Cerritos College and um, my oldest daughter, I would take her to the daycare center there and I would drop her off when I would go to my classes and um, I would, you know, do my thing throughout the day and then go to work after that. Um, a lot of sacrifices work um, till 9 o'clock at night because I had the morning classes at Cerritos College and then um, from there, pick her up, go home after 9 o'clock, have a little dinner, do some homework, and then do it all over again. It's, it's really paid off because um, Justine is now, she wants to be a counselor. <laughs> to help high school kids and community college students. But my other daughter, she's a teacher. She got her master's and she's doing really well too and she likes helping kids. When my daughter told me, she said, wow, mom, after all these years, she said, you're finally getting an award for something? And I laughed, I said, yeah, huh, really? And she said, I guess there's not enough thank yous in the world. She said, but this will really show everyone that how hard you worked and sacrificed everything.